Hello, this is Richard Jacobs with the Finding Genius Podcast, now part of the Finding Genius Foundation. I have Lashawn Acklog. He's the chairman and CEO of PavMed, P-A-V-M-E-D, PavMed Incorporated. Lashawn's a heart surgeon and a medical device entrepreneur who fled political violence in Ethiopia as a young teenager. Currently lives in New York. He serves as the chairman and CEO of PavMed, uh, listed on NASDAQ. The symbol is P-A-V-M. And we're going to talk about his work and about PavMed itself. So, Lashawn, thank you for coming. Hi, Richard. Thanks a lot for having me. Yeah, what led you to be in medicine and to be a medical entrepreneur? Maybe I'll take that in two parts. So the first half of my professional life was, in fact, in medicine. Yeah, I think it's a it's a combination of a variety of things. My father was a very um, a pioneering physician in Ethiopia, which is where, I, as you mentioned, where I was uh, born. Uh, I was the first cardiologist there. So there was always some assumption when I grew up that I would uh, would end up in medicine. I sort of balked at, at one point and thought I'd be a physicist and work in accelerator labs and so forth, which is why I did part of that in my early in my earlier youth. But um, I eventually saw the light and saw the opportunity to, to both uh, you know, be in a position to help people and have an impact on people's lives, but also to do so on a foundation of, of science and technology, which was always um, yeah, of great interest. So what made you transition from being a uh, medical doctor to actually an entrepreneur in medicine? Sure. So the, the word transition is right. It wasn't planned. It wasn't kind of a spontaneous event. You know, when I finished my residency training, so heart surgery requires a long training. I spent 10 years in training before I actually got my first job. And throughout my uh, career as a heart surgeon and going all the way back to my residency years, uh, I was very active and very interested and, and technology. Um, I think part of it was my physics background. Part of it is that cardiac surgery is a, is a very technology focused specialty. And so I was quite active on medical device innovation. I was quite active with the larger and smaller uh, innovative companies, you know, served as an advisor and was always like looking for uh, opportunities to improve what we do. And, and that really is, is at the forefront is just, uh, just a general kind of thirst for innovation, thirst for questioning how things are done, why do we do it this way, and are there ways to do it better? And over time, I started developing some of my own ideas and some of my own insights as to you know, ways to do things better. Some of that was you know, a little bit of a um, wandering in the desert, so to speak, for, for a few years without a lot of experience or knowledge or training on how to, on how to pursue technologic innovation. But I did you know, have some interest in an area that I developed some clinical interest in, which was in uh, an area called pulmonary embolism, which are blood clots to the lungs. And I'd, I'd worked on the surgical procedures for that. I'd published some papers on it. I'd gone and traveled and lectured about it and across the country and across the world and came up with some ideas on how to do that procedure better, how to do it without requiring open heart surgery. And that, that, led, to, that led to our first innovation where me and one of my partners and a longtime colleague of ours from the medical device industry joined forces about 12 years ago and started to develop that technology. And that was kind of the beginning of the, uh, of the transition. Was this under the umbrella of PavMed or was it outside of it? So it was prior to PavMed. So prior to PavMed, we kind of look at PavMed as the second chapter. The first chapter started in 2007 when we joined forces and created an entity called Pavilion. And under Pavilion, we began the process of using a, a business model that our colleague Mike Lennon had developed in his prior experiences in the industry focused on being really capital efficient and, and speed to market. We started developing some technologies that resulted in four companies that were spun out of Pavilion, um, three of them with commercial products, uh, all of them VC backed. Uh, one of them, we sold a company called Vortex Medical, which was the company that commercialized this product AngioVac that was that I had developed to treat uh, pulmonary embolism. Uh, we sold that to Android Dynamics in 2012. And it was really at that point where the transition was complete because after we sold Vortex, it became pretty clear at that point that doing this and doing heart surgery at the same time, which is what we had done for about five years, was not tenable. And we really, I really found a lot of satisfaction in the medical device innovation side of things and decided at that point to hang up my scalpel and uh, start doing this full time.